These developments are run by the St. Louis Housing Authority. This is a far cry from the crowded, collapsing tenements that many of these people have known. Here in bright new buildings with spacious grounds, they can live. It was a very beautiful place, like a big a hotel resort, I'd say. It was like uh, an oasis in the desert. All this newness. I never thought I would live in that kind of a surrounding. What happened? <coughs> well, one day we woke up and it was all gone. We pulled up with the moving van. I knew at that point that it was hell on earth. Prue and Igo looks like a battleground. Vandalism and neglect have left fear among the remaining occupants. In the middle 50s, St. Louis thought it had solved its low-cost housing needs, but instead a monster was created. The experiment had gone terribly awry. It was just uncontrollable. Igo is such a symbol that we tend to forget that it is no different than the city that surrounded it. What happened to St. Louis was tragic, but that's simply not how we've told the story. Pruitt Igo was always fighting against this terrible riptide of destruction in the midst of an economy that was dying. The strong, tightly knit communities and families in which I grew up had begun to shatter, and it wasn't there. And it was one of the most tragic things I've, I've seen. It seemed to me that we were being penalized for being poor. That caused so much anger. Persons that don't have a decent place to stay are willing to take these kinds of chances. Where we live, we're taking chances. This is it. This is out of control, and we are no longer going to put up with it. We're not going to tolerate this anymore. I'm safe. 